like any true hoarder, as you're digging around, you find something you haven't seen in years, and now it's got to be brought back to prominence. You're not throwing it away. No way. Pictures of me. Here's a Packer CD. Oh, that's going to help out a lot. Some old blanket from HLN. A picture of my son's, probably 17 years ago, 15, 17 years ago. My son is a baby. Tried to brainwash my first son as a Packer fan. Didn't even work. Gosh, this is turning into a painful experience. Let's hope I find a snapshot. Yeah, I kept digging through boxes looking for that old high school photo, the awkward photo. That's what we were looking for here. And before I show you what I did find, let me explain why we're doing this. We heard about, again, it's an awesome idea. It's called the Awkward Years Project. People are posting their worst, nerdy, bad hair pictures from the teen years. Uh, and it's a way to show high school kids who get picked on, it does get better. Hang in there. Everybody was awkward and had that bad shot, but it gets better. So we brought up the same idea here at HLN. You're going to see some of my colleagues, some of my anchors. But first off, the News Now staff, so really the brains behind the operation. I want to show you some of the pictures. And let's start with our executive producer. She sets the table for us. J. Will, we call her. Take a look at J. Will. From nerdy until now. Oh, there's Asie Namdar. She's up first. Asie, uh, an international anchor, copy editor. She keeps me in line. There's Aaron, one of our producers. Another producer, Al Shrek. Do we have the shot of J. Will? Can we go back to that? There she is, J. Will. The brains of the operation. Hey, J. Will, nerdy to now. Both good shots. Everybody's looking good. Uh, John Murray's with us. Editor-in-chief, alwaysalist.com, keeping us updated on all the trends. And we're making our own trends here, John. Uh, and and let, let's start with a shot of Mike Galanos. I think I look a little embalmed here. But, <laughs> but uh, let's take a look, and, and I'm teeing you up. Go ahead. There I am. This is probably about uh, 20 years ago. Thoughts? Oh, you're Mike? Still? Yeah, you know, you kind of, kind of, you're casket ready, Mike. You're casket ready. <laughs> You, you've, you've, you got your good floral tie on. That looks like, it, remember that store that used to be open called Oak Tree? Where the tie came attached oh, to the suit. Good. You got the whole ensemble for like 99 bucks, Mike. You yeah, got it. Yeah, looks like you got that whole fit on, Mike. Oh, casket ready. That I was. <laughs> All right, let's check out some more. We've got one of you as well, John, so hang tight, and I'll see if I can tee up something on you. Carlos Diaz, we watch him on Morning Express. Man, that screams 80s, doesn't it, John? Yes, yeah, so, and you know, Carlos thinks he's too cool for school anyway. And you know, he was sp uh, sporting like a little Ryan Seacrest uh, Mohawk mullet <laughs> situation just a few weeks ago when I saw him. He tried to get that look back again. Oh, that's good stuff. Hey, this one could be uh, one of our favorite. Susan Hendricks, man, she had the hair working. Look at that. Oh, she's still fine, though, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that's Susan H Hendricks. No, let me tell you, God blessed her boom right in her face. <laughs> That's a pretty woman. So you're saying nerdy, she was hot, now she's hot. Absolutely. She so, kind of looks like right. Blair from the Facts of Life. She's there just beautiful for no reason. <laughs> John just laying it out there. All right, let's move on. Ryan Smith, our good friend, Evening Express, HLN After Dark. Look at him. Looks up. What's he rocking prom there, John? Oh, yeah, look, he had his, his prom best on there. You know, Ryan, you know, he's smart. He's a lawyer. He's so devil there. You know, it's an awkward color blue you got on there, yeah, though, that, Ryan. <laughs> and you see he's got the little Snoop Dogg lines in the side of his head. You know, he's got a little, it's like, it's like a little bit prom, a little bit hip-hop there. And who's the he's woman trying. that he's hiding out in witness protection with the blur? I know, we had to there? blur it. We couldn't uh, incriminate anybody. <laughs> hey, let's move on. This is a good one. Jane Velez Mitchell as we go in the Wayback Machine. Look at Jane. Oh, wow. That's my, you know, Jane's my favorite vegan. I hope she's not weather wearing anything there that was made out of animal products, because that would upset her at this point in her life. <laughs> you know, and she almost looks like she's going to, you know, be one of those crime stories here at HLA. Like, she'll rob a bank or maybe, you know, come in there with an awkward weapon and, and like, a convenience store or something. It's mugshot-like, isn't it, a little bit? Yeah, God yeah. has done a major work with Jane. All right. Uh, she keeps us updated on this financial crisis, finances period. Jennifer Westhoven, and there she is. Uh, hey, looking good in the short hair, even nerdy, huh? Yeah, Jennifer, she, she, was, she was a fly cookie even with the short hair, Mike. <laughs> I love your terminology here. I'm casket yeah. ready. And she you know, was and a look, fly cookie. And, and look, and she's got like the knee knee links. It's like the two-tone blonde in the top, dark on the side. She was good back then. Oh, good stuff. Hey, Dr. Drew, you know him, you love him, and watch him 9 Eastern. Big athlete here. Where is Dr. Drew? I can't. I, uh, your thoughts on Dr. Drew? Second from the left. There he is. Okay. Who would have known he would grow up to be the man that he is now? Oh, there you go. Oh. I mean, look at him. He's got the Beatles hair. He's got on the extra long <laughs> basketball shorts. Uh, Dr. Drew, hey, one more. Clark Howard, 
uh, famous again, helping us with the finances. Man, that's screaming, what, 60s, maybe early 70s. There, that photo with the family. Oh, hey, Clark. You know, you can kind of look at this photo, though, Mike, and tell that Clark was going to grow up to be a one smart guy. There's wisdom in this photo. I mean, he looks <laughs> like is. he just came from right. doing his homework in that photo, Mike. He was dropping knowledge and new things back then. All right, now let's get to you. John Murray, nerdy, and now look at him. Well, I had to go look back. at you. I had to go back really far, Mike. See, th this guy was flying in high school. You were school. a happy kid, aren't you? Look at that I was, smile. I was like Murray from Clueless in high school, so we had to go back to my childhood. You see, <laughs> I kind of got the Kardashian eyebrows here. Like, I need, I, I should have probably called Kim Kardashian's laser hair removal person. The teeth were a little weird. Look at those big old eyes. Look like Wendy Williams <laughs> being expressive during Hot Topics. It's a whole lot going on in this little photo oh, here, that's Mike. good stuff. Hey, look, to wrap it up, don't you love this project to let kids know, man, hey, we were all nerdy at one point we all had the bad shot we're moping around high school campuses man it gets better and, and i feel like we all look more attractive as we get older mike some there, of us are still young there you but go. i look better than i did back then <laughs> and i'm casket ready hey you gotta love it all right much more coming up keep it right here You're watching hln news now hey oh by the way go to hlntv.com you can check out more of those folks all right, you know, when you think of viral videos, there's those videos we just click on and click on and they get upwards of a million views. You know, you think of the touching moments. Maybe it's the dad who, who dances with his daughter and they're embarrassed, but it's a wedding and everybody's touched. Or maybe it's the dog who's dancing on the hind legs. Whatever, it w seems to work, right? So if you're a company and you're trying to sell something, make the, the, you know, make your pitch go viral, and that's a win for everybody, right? And that's what we're seeing. Back with us, John Murray, alwaysalist.com. Let's check out some of these videos, John. So first one, we're selling Hot Pockets, <laughs> the sandwich here. And who are you going to use to sell them? Kate Upton. Let, let's give it a watch, and then we'll get you weighing in, John. I bet you're wondering, who are you? The baker who made new Hot Pockets come true. Now let me give you an introduction to the master baker of this production. Yeah, you know he bakes here. You know he bakes there. He be baking all day. I bake anywhere. Want to bake with me? All right, there you go. Snoop Dogg's in on this. Larry King's even in. John, is this effective? What are your thoughts here as we watch, keep watching this? Mike, I love this campaign. I mean, there's so much innuendo. There's so much pun, <laughs> tongue-in-cheek here. I mean, what they're basically saying is, you people who are up late at night, you got a little recreational habit, particularly in the states where it's legal, you got the munchies, this is the food for you. You don't want to fix an elaborate full-course meal. This isn't the chew here, people. No! You want to throw something in the microwave after getting the munchies in 30 seconds and voila! That's what the Hot Pocket is about. This commercial is effective, it's funny, and people are buzzing about it. And Kate Upton, in that one scene that they're showing right there, Mike, where she's sitting at the piano with Bow Wow Snoop Dogg, they got her all spackled up. I thought she was Little Kim! <laughs> hey, you know, and, and that's what you're saying. They're, the audience they're going for, they're not going for the mom who's making the Hot Pocket after the school here. They're going for the young adult the guy here who's going to hear the innuendo about pot being baked, right? And then just looking at Kate Upton. Absolutely. This is not a campaign for the mommy blogger. Not at all. This is about the cool kids. And I'm going to tell you, I've seen these commercials late at night. They make you get hungry. I've never had a habit, but I thought about picking up one after watching these Hot Pocket commercials. <laughs> hey, let's hear another one. Now, this one, uh, we're talking Will Ferrell play, you know, reprising his role as Ron Burgundy. He's got the new movie coming out. So this is a double whammy. You're getting the movie promo, and he's selling the Dodge Durango. Let's watch it. On my right is the new Dodge Durango with up to 360 horsepower. On my left is one horse with one horsepower. It makes you feel pretty dumb, doesn't it? <laughs> this thing is literally 360 times more powerful than you. Look at you. You're worthless. There you have it. 360 times better than a horse. There he is, and in another one he's touting the glove box <laughs> as the great selling point. Is this one effective, John? Absolutely. There's, with all of these viral videos, there's innuendo, there's sarcasm, there's the over-the-top aspect of this. People love this character. Will Ferrell, people follow him on Twitter just so he can say crazy stuff in one of his character roles. So the fact that he's taking one of his most iconic ones and using them in a commercial, people are drawn to this. And it's a daggone good-looking truck, Mike. I want to drive one. <laughs> I know it. And people cannot wait for Anchorman 2. When you get the promo uh, at the end of that as well as he's selling Durango's and his movie. John, great talking to you as always. Thank you, my, my friend. My pleasure, Mike. All right.